Good morning, this is Dr. Neil Thompson from the University of Maine at Fort Kent. I'm just booting up ArcGIS Pro and I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a PDF ready to load into Avenza Maps using National Agriculture Imagery Program data accessed via a server. So right now Arc Pro is just booting up, there it is, and I'm going to start with a blank map. I'm going to call this Avenza Demo and I'm going to hit OK. It is creating the project and it will load in a couple of base maps that I do not care to use so I'm just going to turn those off and I'm going to access this link which I will copy into the description below and I'm going to use that to access the NAEP imagery for anywhere in the country. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and make a new connection and that's going to be a new ArcGIS server and I'm going to paste that URL right here in the server URL and hit OK. It's going to connect, thank you. And I'm going to go to the map tab, add data, under servers, under project, there is my NAEP imagery. Click once on the con US prime and OK and that will bring in the latest NAEP imagery for every state. The states are flown every three years, which is why every one of these is a slightly different color. And this is coming in in WGS 1984, which gives a distorted view. So first thing I'm going to do is reproject this into UTM Zone 19 North, which is appropriate for Maine. So right-click on Map, Properties, Coordinate Systems, projected coordinate systems, UTM, North American datum of 1983, UTM zone 19 north. Okay. So that is appropriate for Maine. I'm going to zoom in to Fort Kent and once that loads in what I want to do is say insert new layout and I want a custom page size. I use usually a 20 by 20 or 30 by 30 for my Avenza maps. I'm going to use 20 by 20 this time and I do that because the larger page sizes allow the Avenza maps app to get a better capability of zooming in to get the fine detail where you can crank the, uh, the resolution, the dots per inch up as much as you want on a small page size and Venza doesn't read in that extra detail. You need a larger map with lower dots per inch. Okay. And now I need to insert a map frame and I can just pick that right there and I need to click hold drag and release a box saying I want my map frame here and to fine-tune that I can right click properties on the map frame in the table of contents all the way to the right, the placement and I want that to be exactly 20 by 20 inches to match the page size and the XY position to be 0 by 0. And that's that done. So I don't want to be zoomed in all the way out here. This is Canada. I want to show Fort Kent and the immediate area. What I need to do is go to the Layout tab and go to activate. And that allows me to use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. allows me to click, hold, and drag to move things around. Once I have the map where I want it to be, I have to go back to my activated map frame layout and close activation. If you don't close the activation before exporting, your export will not be correct. Finally, to export the map, share, layout. And this is just going to save as layout. 200 dots per inch, export options, make sure export map georeference is on, it is by default, export. With that done, there is my Avenza ready PDF ready to load in and navigate in the field.